Wow. <gasps> I didn't put everything in. What did you leave that? Uh, maybe finally this time I'll realize you need to read the entire recipe before you start. And prepare everything else so you don't miss it. Hello? We're finally doing it. Making a cheesecake from scratch. This is a video dedicated to Mohammed, and if you guys don't know, there are memberships on the channel that you can join. And he is the highest tier, which is Choose What I Film. This video is about 24 days late, but I'm, I'm doing it. And Mohammed's very understanding. So shout out to Mohammed. Thank you for being, we were on the highest tier of a membership. So this video is dedicated to Mohammed. Let's see how badly I can mess up this cheesecake. Also, shout outs. Ow, that's my burn. Do you guys see this? Last night, I had a friends over and I was starting a fire. Ew. Probably not good in a cooking video, but this is the craziest thing. Like, you literally can see the bubble. Anyways, shout out to Chiali, Chris, Bill, and Mel for also being a part of the high love you tier, which means you get shout outs and videos, which I've also been neglecting because I'm sorry, but I'm back and I'm getting fully on track with everything. I probably should have pulled up the recipe before I started filming, but hot mess cooking shows are titled that for a reason. We're gonna make a blueberry cheesecake because we have a lot of blueberries in the house and I also just love blueberry flavored desserts. If anyone cares, probably not. Paris flour, sour cream, and milk. <gasps> No, lean. Seriously? Are these eight ounce? I needed four of them and I only bought two. Am I about to run to the grocery store right now? 29. I'm not mad at myself, just disappointed. Let's try this again. Ow. Also, super gross. Accidentally popped the blister. No, have you ever made a cheesecake? Never. I never even... Well, Anthony used to make it, so... Oh, right! Okay, so we need graham cracker crumbs. They were out of graham crackers, so I'm gonna be you, crushing up yes. vanilla wafers very and good. mini honey teddy grams. Good. So this is gonna be the crust. Oh, very good. I'm not gonna lie, I used to love these when I was younger. Yeah. Do you want one? I, I'll try it. I don't think I ever bought these. I love them. They taste processed, but I like them. Mm-hmm. Vanilla, short for vanilla. There's something about them. You can really taste the vanilla in them. I think that's why I love them. Uh huh. It's like straight vanilla. Isn't this a spray form? Yes. Now I just need to find the bottom because right. Lord knows it wouldn't be with the top in this house. Yes. Well, the thing is, you. We're off to a great start. But that's not that's not closed around it. It's, oh, this is bent. It? That's why. Nothing in this house works. Properly. <laughs> so about that cheesecake. <laughs> I ate some of them, Lola. <laughs> Don't look at me that way. I already, you're like, that's not a full box. <laughs> How many did you eat, though? If I had to put a number on it, I'd say I probably ate like 20 of them. Oh. I mean, I don't think using meat mallet is really the way to go, but no, I think, it's, no, that's, get a, your rolling pin. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. listen to the professional baker because we all know that's the only thing that makes sense in this whole entire catastrophe. No, no, I'm too short. <laughs> we'll call the tall guy. <laughs> what do you want, shorty? Oh yeah, tell that story. Who started that? Oh, Papu. Papu? He was the tallest one in the store. I think he was about 5'11". We always said six feet to make it even. But whenever I needed something on a high shelf, I would say, Papu, can you get me that? And he'd say, and the tall shall be a slave to the short. What do you want, shorty? <laughs> and then he would reach for whatever Yaya and I asked for. Which is so true because whenever Shane or anyone's down here, I'm just like, Shane, can you get that? Or like, Shane, can you put this up there for us? And the tall shall be a slave to the short. <laughs> Now, if you had a processor, you would throw that in and, and it would just it would immediately. Be in a second, yeah. We don't do things easy here, no one. This looks so good. I just want to eat this. I want to put this on ice cream. Mm -hmm. Good. <gasps> no one's like Lane. What are you doing? You rang a bell. Something rang. The rest of those cookies. Mm -hmm. too. But you were saving them for yourself. Oh, that would have been a good call. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Grams. Could you imagine if we called you Grams, Mona? As some people do. I think an American family might say that. Grammy or Gammy. I just say Gma. 
Yes. That was, uh, who started that? Cause I didn't like, I didn't like the, like the word grandma is just like, eh. Well listen, you know what always surprises me? Jenna's mother and mother is a true Italian. Mm -hmm. She wanted her two of the babies to call her granny. Really? Granny, like somewhere from granny. Appalachia. And I said, oh no, no, I'm, I'm going to be Nona. Granny. I should be smoking a little pipe with my hair pulled back, a little pair of bifocals, that one just hit my and have missing teeth or something. <laughs> this is me not following the rules again. That looks like one quarter. What else went into the crust? Because that's very simple. Sugar, the graham crackers and vanilla wafers, and then... A little butter. Butter. Very good. Oh, I might need even more. I think I made extra crust, so I might need more butter. I didn't think that through. See, Nona? Me winging it, not the move. Although this could go a long way. What are you guys making? Cheesecake. Uh, this is the crust. Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's on camera. <laughs> oh. That's what you need, though, in baking. Precise. Precision. Follow the recipe. Everything that I am not doing. Okay, we'll see. That ground down very nicely. Mm -hmm. You're using the best ingredients you can. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of crust. That's okay. We like crust. And you're gonna go up along the sides too, I can yeah, see. Yeah, it's gonna be all around the sides. Mmm, that's good. Oh, how cute. These will be so remix. Yeah, dig some of that out. So cute. Using electric mixer, don't have that. Beat cream cheese and sugar in a bowl. Oh my god, you know what it's gonna take to beat this? Oh. It's a lot of cheese. Okay. That's like one and a half. Mm -hmm. Too much? Whatever. One. Add eggs one at a time, beating just until combined. Beat in sour cream, milk, and vanilla. And when you have the eggs, beat them separately and then add to it. It'll yeah. be easier. Much easier. Yeah, and you taught me that yes. last time. Put it in all the mix it in. Start on the next one. Teamwork. I know, these eggs I think oh are the best. Oh my god, they're fantastic. Another. Wow. Bright orange yolks. These are the best things I've ever seen. Okay. Number wow. five. You're really good at that. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> I can only imagine how much easier it would be if I had an electric mixer. Oh, iced tea break. Iced tea. Iced tea break. Well, we still have uh, some cubes left. Nona's iced tea is sacred. Would you like another iced cube? Yeah. I'm not kidding my bicep. Like, I'm going like this. Do it. Where's your little... Okay, deep breath. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the whisk should come in here where it's loose. Yeah, that probably would be the good. Wow. So Kevin's dad always says, like, he's like, I've never found the best cheesecake. Oh. Maybe I'll save one of these little ones and I'll bring it over to see yes, what they say. Yes, have them test it. Boy, you did a terrific job there. Thank Let you. me feel your muscles. <laughs> oh my God, that's hard. Now, did you put in the vanilla? Not yet. Okay, so I have a vanilla and there was one other thing. What am I forgetting? Milk. They say to put milk in as well. How much milk? A quarter cup. Vanilla, I kind of always eyeball vanilla. I don't know if that's proper. Follow the recipe. Okay, fine, I'll get a tablespoon. Yes. Mmm, <laughs> it smells good. It worked out that I didn't have the proper pan because now we're making multiple and I can give one to Kevin's family to taste test. Very good. Although, is that evil to give them such a mini cheesecake? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're done with the filling. And we have to pour. And then I have to make the topping and the topping's gonna be a blueberry. You certainly did a terrific job there. Ooh. Okay, we're pouring now. You know what? Do, Do a little, little one, one first, first to yeah. make sure that there's a little bit. Wait, cheesecake might be like one of my new favorite things to make. Okay. I've never done this before. Wow. So thank you, Mohammed, because I don't think I ever would have either. Fancy. I can really smell the sour cream. Mm -hmm. Good. What does it taste like? Not that sweet. Not that sweet. Almost a little lemony. Ooh. Wouldn't you That's say? good. Mm -hmm. It oh, is. Wow. Not overly sweet. And I don't even like cheese um, cream.
cream cheese icing on things. I don't know mm -hmm. why, it's not my favorite. But it's on top of your favorite cake, red velvet. Red velvet, but I always prefer the when they do it like a buttercream. Oh. oh my gosh, they look so good, I'm so proud. Watch, there's still time for them to get messed up. That's a very nice flavor. Anthony always ordered cheesecake in these great big restaurants on Broadway and they put these enormous strawberries. <gasps> I don't know, he, he never learned. He always saved the biggest strawberry for last. And even as he's getting to the end of his cheesecake, I'd spear it away and eat it. And he'd say, I was saving that. And I said, well, when are you gonna learn that you can't save it with me because I'm gonna take it and eat it all the time. So if he kept doing it, yes. I feel like he had to be saving it for you. Maybe. But I like I, to think I that. Always, <laughs> I said, you're so much nicer than I am. I can't leave it, I can't resist. Now, what's next? I'm just double checking that I put everything in. <gasps> I didn't put everything in. What did you leave that? The flour. What? The flour, there was flour that was supposed to go into the cheese. How much flour? Quarter cup. That's not that much. Should I sprinkle some and then whip it? No, no, I knew I messed up. There was one other thing. What am I forgetting? Flour, quarter I mean, cup. I feel that's like that's not much. That's not much, but it would probably make it congeal. It would hold it a little bit. Like it would bake. I'm a little worried that this might grow over, over. these pans. Hot oh, mess cooking show. Oh, I knew. I see. I didn't take the flour out, and that's my mistake. Like I need to take everything out first. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a terrible baker. You'd never hire me. Post it on. In the cake. Look at me. I never thought of it. Well, in the cheesecake, I thought it was just. So. But there's so many eggs that holds it together. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna wing it. We won't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone, guys. Or should I try to like put some in? Just kind of sprinkle it in, and we'll turn it. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> no one is gonna disown me. <laughs> no one is gonna be like, she is not my granddaughter. That she's not a baker. Okay, so we're talking quarter cup, which really is- It's very uh, little, yes. A tiny, but tiny amount. Just... Okay, so, okay. should I sift it in? Maybe let's do that. Okay, that's a good idea. Let me try to fully remedy my mistake. Put okay. It, okay, put it all in there and we'll sift it. Yeah, yeah, okay, now, do a, most of it there. Mm-hmm. Well, we can make it right, a little bit here. <laughs> I just can't believe I did this because I was like, wow, this is turning out so well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was like, this is turning out so great. I didn't even mess anything up. But look at how little it took. Look at how much. And now it's gonna be like, it's gonna be a weird, I don't know if I could give this to Kevin's family. <laughs> Ooh, what about me? But I never made cheesecake. Anthony, we're sorry. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. He's probably laughing at us right yeah. now. Us trying to fold in the flour into the <laughs> already in a pan. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Mm. Is it? And once it bakes all together, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna tell myself that it'll all be okay. The mixture's in there. Oh, look at that corner. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. I can't right. believe, who does this, Nona? Who does this? This is why it's the hot mess cooking show. Actually, this one, I think it all worked out. Mm -hmm. Let me just. You know, uh, being on the Martha Stewart show, mm -hmm. she was always cleaning as she went along. Really? And everything had to be perfect, yes. I remember once when we, she picked a piece of phyllo, I picked the phyllo up, and uh, some of it sprinkled. I mean, I'd be there making it, and her arm would come in with a little towel, and she'd wipe it up. Really? Yeah. Can you see that in the video? I want to look it up on... Oh, I don't know. No. What? Place springform pan in large roasting pan. Pour enough hot water into a roasting pan oh, okay. to come one inch up on sides of the pan. Bake cheesecake until they'll just set center and top is slightly puffed and golden brown, about one hour. Turn off oven, keep your clothes like cheesecake stand for an hour. Remove cheesecake from roasting pan, refrigerate for six hours. Okay, do you have? Cover refrigerate overnight. I don't. Mohammed, I, I thanked you too early. <laughs> I think those two could go in there. Yeah, I'm worried about this baby. Yeah, I can yeah. do it. Okay. okay. We're gonna put the big one in here, mm -hmm. the little ones in here with some water. Mm -hmm. We rearranged the oven already, so. Fingers crossed. 
I'm glad you're doing this with me. It would have been less fun alone. Mm -hmm. Especially when I realized I messed up. Yeah. Okay. There the little babies go. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, maybe finally this time I'll realize you need to read the entire recipe before you start and prepare everything else So you don't miss anything. So you don't miss anything. So you don't have to run to the grocery store for extra because you thought you had enough But you don't In true hot mess fashion So the recipe called for some like mix Blueberry it calls for all fruit blueberry spread but I'm going to just make my own. So I'm just gonna put blueberries in a skillet with some honey, maybe a little bit of orange juice if we have it, and just cook it all down. If there is one thing I will not mess up though, it is the blueberry. Someone just tell me. Someone tell me it looks good. So something I obviously didn't take into consideration because, well, whatever. They're all different sizes. So this one finished first and the other ones aren't even close to being done. But the recipe calls for you leaving them in the oven for an hour. Like you turn off the oven and then you let them sit in the oven for an hour as it cools. I don't know what to do. This is gonna be weird, but this one does look good. Get out of here. The gear. Watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> so they browned on top, but now I gotta leave it in there for an hour off. Not gonna lie, I forgot I was filming this for a second, so I took them out. You let them sit in the oven for an hour after they're done cooking to like set and then you put the blueberry. I mean, I think they look pretty good. Now I gotta let it cool for six hours. But I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good. I don't know if this is even gonna fit on this, is it? I mean, I think it tastes great. It tastes like the, we have something called Galactoburico, which is like a custard pastry in the bakery and this is what this tastes like that is pretty much the final product doesn't so it look good it does look oh my gosh damn that looks good what are we eating it but I'm actually super proud of how it came out. It came out way better than I originally expected. And I can't wait for everyone to taste test it tonight. I farted. <laughs> I heard that. I thought that was your bag. <gasps> Shane, that's not funny. It's so good. <laughs> is it? And guess what the crust is? I am. I saw you make it. With the Nilla wafers? Oh. Nilla wafers and mini graham crackers. I mean, mini teddy grams. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Dang it. Going back for seconds. All right, look at this glorious cheesecake. Yum. No forks, you're a barbarian. Oh. Oh. It's really good. Right? Wow. Honestly, at first I was like, oh, this isn't that good, but you really do need to keep it in overnight and it gets even better. Mm, yeah, yes. more piece. Going back for seconds like Shane did. Damn. It's that good. I mean, the crust are Nilla wafers and mini Teddy Grahams. Cut a little skinny piece for me. Yes, we need no one as approval. Yes. Oh my icy. Here. And that's some homemade blueberry. Oh, Third going back time for the charm. <laughs> I'm actually really hungry. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Oh yeah. Isn't that good? That might be my new like go-to dessert. Yeah, that's really For someone good. who says she doesn't like cheesecake, mm. this is delicious. Yeah, no one was like, I don't really like cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Mm Can't wait for the rents and Gma to try this. No one and I have already taste tested. Oh, look at that. That looks so amazing. Yeah. I am proud of it, I have to say. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second, I gotta take a picture. 
All right, what do we think? Mm, salad's delicious, Kat. Oh, you're still eating salad? Mm. Come on. <laughs> nice job with the dressing. And what'd you add, goat? What do you think, Gma? No. What are the crust is what very, is very different. Mm-hmm. It is Nilla wafers and <laughs> mini Teddy Grahams. Very, very good. Great. Oh my God, so good. Look at this so good. beauty. Wow. Man, does that look delicious. My dad was complimenting it before he even tried it. Mm. That's fantastic. Ooh. I love that you made your own blueberries too. Gma went in for a second piece. Nice. The queen of cut it in half, please. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Lane, great job. Yeah. Woo! No one cares. If I